Hey guys, we're McCoy411 and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a DIY of my rice water leave-in. So sit back, relax. It's very simple ingredients. I'll go over each ingredient and we're going to talk about how this stuff helps your hair stay moisturized and grow. Okay, so the first thing we have is some fermented rice water. Now, this rice water has been fermenting probably about seven days, so it's extra potent. I haven't even opened it up. I put some essential oils in it, but seven days, we may have to add some more. So I got some, some of that, and I got what I have here is a nut bag. And it's just going to strain all of the excess stuff out so we won't have it in our hair. So what I'm going to do, and I have a bucket here, a little ice cream bucket, big ice cream bucket. And I'm just going to pour it in here. Yeah, the essential oil helped a little bit, baby. It's got its own thing going right now. Yes, baby, yes. Let's close that lid. We're going to have to work on this. See, so what the nut bag does is it catches the rice for one, but any little extra particles that came off of the rice that you left over before you washed it, it catches that too. And you just squeeze it out if you want to, or just work with what you got. I like to squeeze, squeeze stuff out. So we got 100% pure fermented rice water, okay? So what I do to make this a leave-in rice water is I add a couple of leave-in conditioners that are moisturizing to your hair. So we, I always use the Blue Magic. There's one Blue Magic one that I'm missing and that's the carrot oil one. That one is the bomb, but I use it so much that I'm out of it. I gotta go get some more. So this is the Blue Magic Mango and Lime. This is the leave-in conditioner, okay? They all have great scents, yes. They're all liquidy, watery. And then I have the Blue Magic Argan Oil Herbal Complex. This is a leave-in as well. And then I have the Blue Magic Tea Tree Oil Anti-Breakage Protein Complex Leave-In Style and Condition. So we get a little more protein in there as well. So... What I do is, I simply measure off a cup of each one. This here probably, probably looks around about to be about four cups of rice water. So I'm going to add two cups of each one of these leave-ins. Make sure you can see it. No, I'm going to add a cup. I'm going to stay with the cup because the cup has been working out fine for me. So I added one cup of Blue Magic Ar Argan Oil. And I just pour that into the rice water. And then the mango and lime. One cup of that. And these guys, the, the reason I'm not so big on the essential oil, or I'm not worried about the essential oil so much, is because the fragrance from these Blue Magics really smell really good. 
And this is the last one, and it's the tea tree oil. I'm just going to pour all of that. That measures it out right at one cup. Now I need my spatula. And I don't have it over here, but I'll tell you what I do have. And I just scrape all that goodness out of there. Looks like a rainbow. Looks like a rainbow. Okay, so we're gonna move this one over there as well. Now I stir it. Now I'm gonna add a couple more things to this. It's not finished. Okay, I'm gonna add a teaspoon or two teaspoons of vitamin E oil. All right. And then the peppermint essential oil. I love the way this stuff makes my scalp feel. And we're going to add a teaspoon of that. Oops. Fell right off in there. Got to get it for it. Okay, and this is the peppermint essential oil. Okay, now this is hair conditioning cream. This is the Super Cholesterol Queen Helene. Okay, it restores shine and long-lasting vitality. It, it works for extremely damaged hair. So I put five pumps in there. One, two, three, four, I set that over to the side and then I move the things that I'm about to work with next, which is my blender. And it's already smelling, you can already smell it. It's smelling good. Rice water, what? Rice water, what? And Robert, is it three teaspoons equal one tablespoon? Okay, so I'm adding three teaspoons of grapeseed oil. You want this to be as moisturizing as you can make it. Okay, so all the ingredients are in here. Mixed up. But now we gotta add it to the blender and give it some consistency and make sure it's all blended up together. Now, I use the xanthan gum and this gives everything more texture. It gives it a thicker consistency, but you have to be very careful when it comes to xanthan gum because xanthan gum can get really thick, really thick. So I'm only going to I'm going to start off with a teaspoon. That's how thick it can get. And y'all hear candy barking in the background? She mad because I put her outside. Like she don't need no vitamin D. She need vitamin D too. And it is already thickening up. See, just with that one teaspoon, it's already thickening up. Well, I'll be able to show it to you guys more. Let's see. Already thickening it up, and it's not even blended all the way in. And that's why you don't want to use a 
a lot of that xanthan gum because when I first did this, I think I put like, oh, let me try five tablespoons. Yeah, that recipe didn't work out. So now I'm just going to pour some of this over in the mixing cup. I mean, over in the measuring cup and set the rest to the side. And you have a fill line. You should have a fill line on your blender. You want to go to that fill line. And not over the fill line. Matter of fact, I'm going to go a little under the fill line. Okay. And you got that in the blender. And you're going to have to repeat this process as far as blending, because you're gonna, you don't want to put your good rice water, your blended rice water, with your not blended rice water, and you stick that on your blender. Okay, now I just have a little container here, guys. I'm going to have to put these all in separate containers. And because some of it I can, you can freeze it. Like you make a batch, make up batches and use it like I do. And I actually sell it to my neighbors and people request it. So, and what you have is a whip consistency see how that's just whipped and frothy you see the consistency and that's how it turns out and what you can do is after you finish shampooing your hair you can add the rice water leave-in conditioner as a leave-in instead of the leave-in that goes with the product or you can add them both um you do have to be kind of careful though because some products don't mix well with the blue magic but it's very few that does not mix well with it so it's this creamy consistency right here this is what you're looking for. And that's my first batch. And that, my friend, is how I make my rice water leave-in conditioner. All right? If you're new here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down below the red button so you will be alerted every time I make videos and also make sure to make sure you're alerted click on the bell icon and select all so that you can be notified each time I make a DIY or I make a hair video or a hairstyle tutorial or anything on my natural hair journey I'm sharing it with you all okay keep God first in everything you do and I do mean everything and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.